As the ropes course at High Track Adventures being our first field trip of the year where all students at Renton Prep got to attend, it gave students experience as we got back to school and worked on the STEM project where older students mentored younger students to learn more about how a zipline operates. On October 8th, 9th through 10th grade students were assigned a flash STEM project to work on with younger students, with the goal being to successfully make a zipline carrying a ping pong ball. The thought process behind the zipline blueprints was to use popsicle sticks as support beans and a paper cup as a carrier for the ping pong ball. For the zipline, a yard string would be used and some tape would be wrapped around it to help with friction. When building, we decided to cut the straws in half to make the carrier slide better. We also did not need to use the popsicle sticks since we just used the railings instead and we did not add tape to the string either. For our final design, we decided to go for a larger cup with the straws cut up into smaller bits and taped at the sides. The first one didn't work. The first time we tested, things did not go very well. That was when we decided to cut the straws in half instead of having them bended. After that, our tests were successful and the zipline still worked even after we added some extra weight to the carrier. The remote people worked on the ropes course in Minecraft and tried to replicate how things looked like in high track rope courses. The younger students helped with building the carrier and getting the supplies that we needed. They were also fun to have around and worked well with us. My favorite part was watching the zipline. I like making the popsicle stick person. Hello. No.